The Board of Longitude Archive is an outstanding record of 18th and 19th century attempts to improve navigation at sea. Cambridge University Library and Royal Museum's Greenwich have digitised the entire archive, making everything available online for the first time. In 1714, the British government offered rewards of up to £20,000, millions today, to anyone who could accurately find longitude at sea. Up till then, ships had struggled to accurately plot their position, meaning voyages could take far longer than expected. They knew their latitude, their position from north to south, from the location of the sun, but could only estimate their longitude, their position from east to west. So a group of experts, later called the Board of Longitude, was created to judge and reward inventors and inventions that could measure longitude. Open to the public, some were simply not feasible. This is not deserving of the Board's attention. But two methods succeeded. Both tried to measure time at the ship and at a known reference point, one by astronomical means, the other using clocks. Mathematicians and astronomers charted the Moon's position and predicted its future movements eventually creating a nautical almanac that allowed vessels to accurately plot their longitude. Meanwhile, John Harrison worked to create a more accurate timekeeper. Clocks hadn't been reliable enough until then, but after 30 years of working with the board, Harrison made a watch that could help find longitude at sea. The board documented their progress towards this and their other work, creating a vast archive. The papers record scientific endeavor, pioneering exploration, fateful voyages, and lifetimes of commitment to a common cause.